Hello, it's time for Every Classroom Matters, where we talk about the noble profession of teaching. This is Vicki Davis, the cool cat teacher. Let's talk about what matters. Hey, everybody. I'm so excited. We have Richard Wells. He's in New Zealand joining us from his school today, and we're going to talk about the SAMR model today. So, Richard, just tell us a little bit about what you do, first of all. Hi, yes. I'm um, the head of a department in a secondary school, a high school. I teach grades 7 to 13. So I, I get them ready for college as well. Let's talk about the SAMR model. SAMR is a journey that you could say teachers go on as they uh, introduce technology. Really, it can be used for any um, technology use, but um, schools tend to look at it from the point of view of, of initially substituting their old habits and old practices for a sort of a digital equivalent. And then through going through a process of modification and organization and things, you end up with by redefining uh, what you do in the classroom. Um, and the tech allows you to start to do new things that you didn't think were possible. I think that there are two sides to SAMR. I think SAMR is about technology, but I think the success that schools either do or don't have with SAMR comes down to the professional development of the teachers and, and changing their mindset to allow them to be flexible and move away from the old habit and onto new things. When I provide professional development to my staff and teachers, which I do a lot of, and I go around New Zealand schools doing this, a lot of it is about um, changing that mindset 